I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Night Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. This is going to be a big one because in this episode, we are going to the planet Tuchanka, the home world of the Krogan, where we are going to undertake two different loyalty missions. Not exactly in this episode. Uh, the next episode will be Morden's loyalty, and the one after that is going to be Grunt's loyalty, both of which take place on Tuchanka. Now, I've actually been incredibly smart and intelligent and beautiful and handsome and charming and uh, aphrodisiac. I don't know if that's a word, but you get you get what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I actually planned all of this out. So after Horizon, you have five missions until you are forced into the next story mission, which is actually a very challenging mission. So what I've done is I've actually made it so that we're going to be as powerful as possible going into that. We are going to do six missions instead of just five. By throwing in Miranda's loyalty mission while we were on uh, Ilium, we are now able to do two loyalty missions on Tuchanka and neither of them force us to go to the Normandy, which means we can continue without being forced to not use the map and going and having to talk to the elusive man and all of that. So I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been a genius is what some would say. So we are Commander Corey Shepard, level 18 Vanguard. We're holding on to our seven points that we have there because we are looking for a very specific bonus power that we will actually get after that mission that I've mentioned. And if we look at our journal, we'll see that we have two missions here, Morden, Old Blood, and Grunt's Rite of Passage. So let's get right into it. Let's head over to our boy Morden and not get stuck on the ship there. And let's go ahead and see why exactly he wants us to head to Chuchanka. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You know, I remember that talk, but it's YouTube, and YouTube audiences, they have a very short attention span. So why don't you remind us? Why don't you refresh my memory? Personally, led a team, created new version of genophage, released it onto Chunka, other colonies, restabilized Krogan population. I gotta be honest with you, that's impressive. Nice job. I can see why Cerberus brought you on board. Very difficult, yes. Complex work to stabilize population. Mistake could have wiped out species. Glad to see you understand. Had to be done. And why are you bringing this up now? So what does your old job have to do with needing my help? Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. And this is the first time that we're hearing that there's a potential that Tuchanka knows that there has been a modified genophage. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. Well, lucky for him, that's exactly where I plan on going. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him. Safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. You heard that right, my friends. He said Erdnot territory, who just so happens to be the clan chief. And who do we know named Erdnot? God, there's somebody probably from Mass Effect 1 named Erdnot, and I just can't put my finger on it. Anyways, we're going to also head down. Kelly's going to tell us that people want to talk to us, but we're going to head down to uh, engineering so that we can see what's going on with Grunt as well, because don't forget, He's storming around the cargo holds and smashing things and being very angry. Something is wrong with Grunt. Let's go ahead and see what that is. Chamber said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. 
I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. See, why do that? What's wrong? I have no idea, dude. And also, you now owe me a new window. Elkir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. We were moving, fighting. I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch. And even you are just noise. I'm tankborn. What is this? Well, you know, the ship AI might have something to say. Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. My people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chunka. Perfect. Then that's exactly where we're gonna go. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. He is absolutely correct. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to speak to the clan leader for both Grunt and Morden. See if we can find Morden's student, Malon, who apparently might have been taken by the blood pack. And, of course, our buddy, Grunt, who is having some issues, to say the least. So we've done everything. We've talked to everyone that's important. To We're going to, to ignore everyone else. I'm sorry, Kelly, but we have to ignore them for now. We're going to use the galaxy map, map, mip, 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 and leave this area that we were in. I also want to point out that we now have 1,500 max fuel that you'll be able to see. But we're going to head down here to the new Krogan DMZ that shows up on our map now, where we can go to Chachanka to help Grunt and Morden. And before we look around the system of Aralak, where Tuchanka is located, we're actually going to go to these other systems of Nith and Drenek, since there's no real reason to go there whatsoever. Uh, we're going to go there just so that we get the exploration completion, and so that we can scan all of these. So I would make sure that you're full of probes. The only real planet that you want to scan in the Nith system will be Mantoon. It's one of the only ones that has a rich system. Now that we've scanned everything in Nith, got 100%, got all of our resources we're going to head to the system of dranek something you'll notice when you're looking at these planets is that all of them are talking about this demilitarized zone the krogan demilitarized zone the council actually has a demilitarization force that is local and keeps an eye on all of these planets and systems and makes sure that the krogan don't get out of hand one such planet that you can actually check out is this planet here, which if I could click on it, of Rothla. Rothla is actually super interesting because there was a weapon that we don't really know anything about that apparently was used and experimented on, and it shattered the place into uh, all of these little moonlets that are all around it. And to this day, no one has been able to find uh, what that weapon actually was. Also just so happens that Rothla is a rich planet. Over here, you can find the planet of Sazgoth, which is this tiny little blue pearl, and you can scan that, and this actually has the largest deposits of platinum in the entire game. You can get about 19,000 platinum just from this one planet. And finally, now that we've done that, we can leave Drenek and go to the actual system that we want to go to, which is Aralak, which also has some other planets to check out, and some that actually have some interesting stories to them. One of the coolest of those planets being Kruban here, which uh, first group of Krogans brought into orbit by the Salarian uplift teams requested a trip to Kruban. The Salarians at first thought the Kruban were confused about the nature of the of Kruban's environment. The planet is named for a Krogan mythological paradise in which honorable warriors feast on the internal organs of their enemies. Krogan astronomers had correctly deduced the nature of Kruban in the years before the global, global holocaust that they actually had. In the two millennia since, Kruban had come to be thought of as an ideal test of one toughness and to this day Krugan Krogan will actually Krugan Krogan will attempt to land on Krubin uh where they will actually get completely naked get off their ship and try to survive and only one Krogan has ever survived granting him the ability to lie with any fertile female he wished I would also recommend scanning Krubin because it's a rich planet and then finally the final planet that we can check out which is this one right here Durok 
Duroc actually had a bunch of different clans on it, five different clans working when the planetoid was kind of destroyed. They all, all of the clan leaders decided to meet for one of their, uh, something known as a crush, which is a meeting on neutral ground. And they all planned to usurp the others. And they, while they were gone, their, all of their different areas were all, they all shot and destroyed each other's. And then they all fought to the death. And to this day, the the survivors, the whoever was left of these Duroc clans, uh, still argue about which warlord was the last one surviving. And of course, Duroc is also a rich planet. And with that, every planet that we can find in the Krogan DMZ has been uh, scanned and explored, and that means 100% completion, except, of course, for Tuchanka. Tuchanka is the home world of the Krogan, and it is scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, choking ash, and salt flats, and it can barely support life. And because of that, the ecology of Tuchanka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is carnivorous. Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. And my friends, you are about to see why as we proceed to land on Tuchanka, the home world of Rex and kind of Grunt. And since we're going to Tuchanka, it makes the most sense to bring Morden and Grunt with us. Not gonna worry about too much of our points here, although we'll put whatever we have into Solarian Scientist, and that's all we can do for now, and we won't worry about our weapons loadout. And look at how desolated Tuchanka is. This place is absolutely destroyed. in what appears to be an abandoned missile silo, perhaps? We'll also notice that Char and his blue rose of helium are here. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. It seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief. It's not a deal. Wait, so they don't even want you here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. Remember, they're here because we got back them back together while we were on Elio, and he was just spouting nonsense about poetry. Over here, we'll find a blood pack recruiter who we haven't fought since, I believe, Morden's recruitment mission. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. Well, and Vorcha, as we know. And let's talk to the overcaptain. to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. What's the right? You know what's wrong with him. What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Seems the overcaptain knows a little bit about what our friend is going through. Now we can also come down here and hear a conversation between two Krogan. We'll get off this rock and show those Turians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijax feast on the mother still alive. Ha! Wow, that sounds disgusting. And let's continue out of here. And you'll see, I mean, this is... It is one of the most inhospitable planets that we've been on. This place is clan reports you destroyed. Speech. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. That's exactly why we're here Dr. for more. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. Yep. Now, I also want to mention that this is the first time in Mass Effect that we have been able to land on a race's home world. And of course, how fitting that it's Tuchanka of all places. 
You can see, I mean, this place was heavy, heavy militarized. We actually just saw a little monkey creature running by. One that looks like what we saw back on Elatania in Mass Effect 1. Now, I also want to point out that there's a cool conversation happening right you here. Were in the female camps and killed it over last week. No, I was off dealing with a Baron attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. And we're gonna go ahead and head over here because the first order of business, we're on Tuchanka. This place is very dangerous. People are very mad at us. We can actually see what Grunt has to say about Tuchanka. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Very interesting that Grunt does not seem to like this place. But we need to come over. This place is hostile. Krogan don't like us. They don't like aliens being on their homeworld. And I think it's worth coming and talking to the clan chief immediately to see what's going on here. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Look who it is, my respond. friends. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> How do I... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the boy couldn't hold you. It's our boy Rex from Mass Effect 1. Man, do I wish he was on our squad. Now, we could get right down to business, but instead, it's been a long time. Let's see what he's been up to on Tuchanka. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I use that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandon many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. <laughs> that little smirk. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Apparently, he never heard that it was blown up. Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. It was good times. Let's uh, let's ask Rex a little bit about what he's got going on here. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. And it seems like he's got a little bit of opposition going on. How is this plan working out? This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained barren. Always fighting, guiding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. Yeah, that's rough. And how are you keeping control? How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. 
Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Interesting. And what was that about sharing females? What do the women of Clan Erd not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. And why bad bother with the weak clans? That doesn't really seem like something Krogan would do. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gatatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not. We need to rethink. Restart. I love it. All right, back to my business. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. So, because we're going to be dealing with Morden and his loyalty mission in this episode let's go ahead and hear about the salarian and the blood pack i'm looking for a salarian he was captured by the blood pack and brought here my scout commander can direct you he's probably near the perimeter running target practice don't take too much of his time i need a constant watch on the other clans interesting and that's everything that we can do let's try to see can we get rex to join us good to see you rex Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Anyways, we can also see a continuation of this conversation as well. Probably five years from the right. Yeah, my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. Son, good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. A Ren call? Wonder what that is. We'll actually find out right now as we head over here and talk to Ratch. Who is a shop owner that owns this shop right here, Ratch's Wares. These things are a little too expensive for us, so we're going to get a side quest from him that's going to allow us to get that a little cheaper. But we are going to go ahead and pet this little Varen named Urz over here. Look at how cute he is. And then we'll go ahead and leave him alone. Remember that. That's going to be important. Oh, he's such a good boy. All right, Ratch. Let's see what's going on with you, and let's get a side quest. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are a nerd not, except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. And what do you sell? What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. I'll try to act tough and tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rin call hits aliens like ground glass. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. Now, he mentioned pie jacks. What are those? What the hell is a pie jack? Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. And the Pijaks aren't from here? We're actually about to discover that they're from a planet that we know very well. Why'd you call the Pijaks off-world vermin? 
An alien trader landed here a few years back. He had goods he salvaged from some place called Elatania. Said they were stowaways. They swarmed off a ship and started stealing food and shitting everywhere. I can't imagine you let him walk away after that. Not a chance. One ball of pie jock dung nailed the leader of Clan Forsan across the forehead. <laughs> That's apparently grounds for execution. So let's help him with his pie jack problem. Elatania being where we kind of in Mass Effect 1 abused a, uh, we needed to retrieve a data disc and we abused it and got a maxed out our Paragon points. It's also where we found a Prothean relic that showed us that Protheans uh, have been watching over humans for a very, very long time. A good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. And that's exactly what we're going to do, which is uh, actually very, very easy and very fast, but also more story. Sorry. I tackle the Baron. It was, it was good, fast, strong. Well, of course he was. Any son of yours must be. Then they went back to the female man. It was so fast. It's a very interesting conversation because it shows the Krogan in a way that I don't think they are shown much, which is caring and devoted and all of these, and, and it's still strong. I also wanted to continue over here because these guys also have more to say that I think is kind of fun. Solarians, too. Those little bastards think they're so smart. They needed us to fight the Rachni, though, didn't they? Couldn't take us in a bear fight. Had to you with diseases. That's a gutless way to win. Yeah, it is. That's not the final conversation, though. If we head up here and use this door and then come back down, uh, we could probably hear that they might have a little bit more to say. Maybe they have a problem with Turians, too. Let's see. Yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen. All right, continuing on. Let's start undergoing this side quest that we can do where we need to kill these darn monkeys that keep bouncing around here. Seems like a real problem. We'll also notice that there's a pit fight gambling station here. We're not going to worry about that just yet, but it is going to be a way to get pretty much infinite credits in this game. Watch it, human. Maybe. I wouldn't recommend it. Anyways, we're going to ignore the Chief Scout for now, and instead we're going to use these defense gun controls. Let's see what the human can do. I guess he's not going to ignore us. And this is a mini game where we need to kill all the Pijacks for Ratch. We have 20 missile shots. We can move this around, and we hit X to fire, and we can kill the Pijacks as they run out. This targeting thing is kind of where it is, but it's a huge AOE around it, much bigger than it looks. And we just need to make sure that we don't hit any of the tires and we can kill them. This first wave is no problem. If they reach the bottom of the screen, they will start uh, They will start stealing food from the food stores, and we don't want that. That's going to be... Well, that's not why we're here. We're here to kill the monkeys so that they don't steal from the food stores. So we want to make sure not to hit this tire. It's really easy to do that. And we'll keep going. We only have limited shots, so we want to make sure most of them hit. And you can see that even on that shot, that wasn't very good. It's still going to hit them. We have three waves of this. The next wave is 15. That, and again, we only have the 15 or the 20 shots. So there's room for error. Odds are you'll probably be able to do this in one try. So we'll just keep annihilating all of these. The AOE is massive. But hey, if you get, do get a chance to potentially kill two Pijacks at once, that's something that you're going to want to do. Taking them down, only 10 left. See if we can finish this one. Fortunately, hitting the... Oh, no! See, we hit one there. Not sure how that happened, but we actually hit the, uh, the tires more than a few times there. We only have four more pie jacks. So we should be fine. I think we were able to get that one there. And one more here. Seems a little buggy there, but 
That was a little that was a little weird of a wave, but hey, what are you gonna do? We'll go ahead and eliminate. Now we have the final wave. 18 pie jacks are going to be coming out of this. And again, we still have the same number of shots. So we need to hope that we can kill all of these. And you'll notice that they come out in increasing. We got two for one on that one. Uh, increasingly quickly. I like to not shoot them when they're back there. And shoot them when they're starting to get more in this area. There's just less tires here. You're less likely to, you know, hit one of the tires like I did in the second wave. And because this is so large... You can pretty much do it. No problemo. There we go. We completed Ratch's quest. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and let's go back to I Ratch. While also hearing about uh, a little bit more from this new dad over here. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the politics? You know you've sired a son. That's enough. I can teach him to hunt, but that's what he's doing. That's so cute. To fight with honor and savagery. Uh, you can do that next time they bring the children home. It's not the same. It's not the same. He just wants to be a dad. So now that we've I killed the Pijacks, let's see what Ratch has to say. Vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. No, I swear it was glorious. Yeah, yeah, oh, no problem. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. That's probably the last time we're going to be doing that mini game, but you can repeat it and do it as many times as you want. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to buy some stuff. We'll actually discover a new item at his shop right away, and that is pie jack meat, and it is free, and I highly, highly recommend picking it up because this is actually how we're capable of getting infinite money in this game. So let's go ahead and buy the pie jack meat and then of course the heavy weapon ammo because oh my god getting us closer to being able to fire the cane twice which is huge and we're just gonna buy everything else for completion's sake the death mask i think is really ugly but it's 10 percent negotiation bonus it's 10 percent more paragon or renegade so it could be useful in certain ways uh and then we're gonna go ahead and buy this new uh this new phalanx heavy pistol that's all the items that we can buy there, and we only need one more heavy weapon ammo to max that out. Now that we have that Pijak meat, though, we can talk to Urz again, and now we can actually feed the Varen the Pijak meat. And he's going to be very happy about it. Huh. Looks like Urz finally found someone to follow around. Isn't that so cute? We now have the best boy Urz following us around while we're on Tuchanka. Things could be different. We could live together. Us, we and the children. You know we can't. We'd just be one big, weak target. Have to keep the fertile females safe. The children safe. Damn, the channel finish. I think I'll take you up on that link hole later. And that's the entire conversation that we can get about the new dad and his buddy over there. Very interesting. Now we can come over to this pit fight gambling station. We can gamble. We're going to put a bet down. And we're going to bet 500. If we win, we get 500. And we are always going to make a bet for Urz. Because that, my friends, is what we need to do. Because Urz is incredible when it comes to pit fighting. Yeah, this is probably illegal in some countries. But it's fine now. Watch Urz absolutely decimate, earning us 500 credits. And you can keep doing this as Put much as you want. Until, of course, Urz gets taken down. That was its third win. It died so fast. And unfortunately, that's the end of Urz. Uh, it was worth it. He won us a thousand, a thousand credits, but unfortunately, One wrong step, Urz has died. So we can go ahead and talk to this mechanic up down. here see what he has for us to talk i've got work to do those fools brought this tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold they say it got shot off in the field you tell me how can you expect a tomka to run without a combustion manifold uh where can i find a manifold any idea where i can find a combustion manifold yeah i can make one 
Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. Who are you? Never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. <laughs> well, hey, let's grab another side quest. We're going out in the field. I think we can pick one up for you. I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Sounds good to me. So, let's keep an eye out for that while we undergo our boy Morden's loyalty mission. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. And we get the mission to find the combustion manifold. Now, we'll actually head into here, which is a little clinic that we can go to, and we'll discover... Oh. Nothing. Well, let's see what Morden has to say about this injured Krogan. Krogan's hit by genophage, nuclear assaults, civil wars. Still survive. Yeah, no thanks to you or anyone else. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Yeah, maybe it is. We'll also see this piejack over here that we could just go ahead and straight up punch. I don't know why we did that, but it, it's, it's there for a reason. We'll also notice that there's a, what appears to be, you be in here. this guy, Fortac, here. Unfortunately, we can't talk to him, but we will notice that he has a shop here, Fortax database. We're going to ignore that database for now because we can't actually get anything from it. Now, if we go ahead and change out our squad and take Grunt out of it, we'll actually be able to talk to Fortac. Not that it matters right now. We'll actually come back after, after, and we'll be able to talk to him again after we complete Grunt's loyalty mission, and we will actually be able to get a discount from Fortac in his database. Let me just show you actually what's there, which is a ton of weapon damage upgrades, and we're, we're gonna eventually want that. But unfortunately, he won't talk to us while we have, while we have uh, Grunt in our parties. But let's head out here, and we'll notice that Urs is just sitting right here, guys. He well, soon you'll fight again. Cellular regeneration on schedule. He's not actually dead, my friends. He's just hanging out. So we're gonna come over and we are going to talk to the chief scout here. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. Uh, tell me about yourself, chief scout. So you're in charge of Erdnot scouts. Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Huh. And what's the threats to food? Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Your enemies go after civilians? Easiest way to wipe out a clan. Women and kids can fight, but they're always outnumbered if another clan goes after them. If it's women and children are killed, a clan's hope for the future is lost. It falls apart. We don't do that, though. Rex's orders. Even if it costs us a battle, we don't fire on non-combatants. Good. Rex, my man. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. Tachanka sucks. And what's the need for scouting? You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. And finally, what are your duties? What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That doesn't really sound like scouting. That's not recon, that's sabotage. 
It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. So every clan on Tachanka encroaches on the other clan's borders? Borders? This is Tachanka. Our borders are determined by the range of our guns. We are what we are, human. If we didn't fire at them, they wouldn't take us seriously. I kind of love that, by the way. Thanks for the information. Whatever. So I was going to try to do Morden's loyalty mission in this episode, but I think that this episode, if I do that, it's going to be way too long. It's going to be almost two hours long, and that doesn't seem like that much fun. So we'll make this one a little bit shorter. We did everything that we could do right now, anyways, on Tuchanka. And the next episode, we will actually do Morden's loyalty mission. And then in the following episode, we will do Grunt's loyalty mission. So apologies for splitting it up, but I do think it's just the best way to watch it. This video is going to end up being probably like, I don't know, 40 minutes, 30 minutes or 40 minutes. And then the other one's going to be like almost an hour. So it makes sense to split them up. I hope you're not too mad at me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. A huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres over on YouTube uh, and over on YouTube. That's the only place you could be watching this. I don't know why I said that. Uh, and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile dine online. Sincerely appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, let's go ahead and let's look at this. All right, there we go. And remember, never give up, never surrender to Clan Uvenk. Goodbye, everyone.